guys, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be my makeup tutorial on um, my eyebrows. I know my eyebrows have been really, really crazy lately, um, and it's due to the fact that I am I'm such a chicken. I have a low talent for pain. I don't know how I got a tattoo. I'm crazy, and piercings and stuff. I have my I got my lip pierced when I was 18, and anyways, um, so. I had to stop threading for a minute, and that's why my eyebrows got so crazy. And then, unfortunately, because I'm lazy, I use one of those eyebrow shaving things that you can find at the drugstore, and I almost shaved my eyebrow off. So the shape was completely off. And then I was trying to let it grow out, and then still do tutorials or hauls and things, and people were just like, ee, 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 like staring at my eyebrow. I'm like, I know it's jacked up. Thanks for all the thousands of comments that, what the hell happened to your eyebrow? So. Yeah, so thankfully we got it under control. I did go and get threaded, even though I needed a couple of breaks because I'm such a wimp. And the, the lady that was doing it for me, she was laughing at me like, come on, put your arms down. I'm like, I get it hurts. Um, but yeah, so I got it done and I feel more confident about them. Eyebrows are like everything. So if your eyebrows are too skinny, too fat, like um, it just looks strange. And if it, they're not groomed, I think feel like it just makes a huge difference. Eyebrows make a huge difference. So if your eyebrows are this long, it just looks strange because your eyeball is this big. So it just it's it's about learning your shapes, looking up your eye types, your eyebrow types. My sister has the biggest, thickest, beautiful eyebrows I've ever seen in my life, and I'm jealous. And she never gets them done. So they're naturally like I don't know, like grown and I'm jealous. And I was born with eyebrows that were like the same color as my face. So I've always had problems with them and I always had to like dye my eyebrows because they were so, so light. Um, but anyways, I am rambling up a storm. I'm going to show you guys um, how I got this um, going on and then at the end I will show you guys like the actual walkthrough of the Sigma brow kit because some of you guys are interested in just looking at the tutorial and some of you guys um, do appreciate, you know, the step-by-steps or the, the details in um, the review side of the products and I'll put that at the end so we can get the tutorial started and over with so yeah let's get it started and people are saying why does this one take off I don't know maybe it's because it's related to the rock the wrestler because it keeps going up every time I talk I'm super dramatic and sore my facial expressions and I can't help it it just goes up I'm like ah, la, 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 and just I don't know I never really noticed it, but people talk about it all the time in my videos. They're not perfect. They're not twins. They are sisters, maybe cousins sometimes, maybe like second cousins sometimes, but hey. Okay, so what I'm going to start with is a taupey color, which I'll be showing you guys at the end. And it's really important to brush through the hair first so you actually can get um, a general shape going on in direction of the hair. So again, starting over, I'm going to dip my brush into a light taupe color and start framing my eyebrows and then blending it as I go. So you want to first initially start with most of the product to frame the eyebrows and then use whatever's left on your brow brush and blend that in. I'm so sorry that I keep going in and out of focus. It's because I keep moving, I'm trying to look in the viewfinder as my mirror. So again, adding the product near the outer corners first and then blending it in. The brush is also a really good way um, to blend the product even more. Helps just get it moving and spread out. So for the outer part, or actually the inner part, hello, um, the inner part of my eyebrow where it initially starts by the bridge of my nose, I like to um, really define it there and then bring the product outwards into my brows and then of course using the wand brush again to do a lot of the blending um, and grooming. Another tool that's in the set is a pair of really close sharp scissors. So you brush your hair up and then you trim. It's really important that you go up and not down because if you go down you will have bald spots. 
Another product that's in the set would have to be a dual-ended highlighter. One's really light, and then the other side is like a champagne shimmery color. I really like the lightest color, and you can either use your finger or a flat top precision brush, which I'm using right now, to really blend in that product. This is going to help highlight your brow bone and give it a really clean, finished look. And I love the consistency of the pencil. It's not too creamy and it's not too dry, but it does set and look like a powder. So I really, really appreciate that. And you don't even need eyeshadow with this product if you're going for a really natural look like I am today. Also in the kit is um, a tinted or clear brow. Um, gel. So if you have brown hair like me, the brown gel would be perfect. And I love it. And it just darkens my eyebrows even more. And that's pretty much it, guys. Ooh, ooh. Now, in between your waxing and threading, whatever you prefer, there are a pair of really, really good um, tweezers in there. And I think they're compared to like Tweezer Man because they are so, so sharp and um, I don't know, I just really get in there and I don't have very much problems um, catching a hair and taking it out. So that's pretty much it. Now for the kit. So here's the rundown. comes with a dual-ended brush, angled brush, and um, almost like a mascara wand that's going to help with the hair and the whole bit. You guys seen that already in this video. And here is the dual-ended brow gel, so in a light brown color or the clear color, whichever you prefer. A lot of people like the clear, but since I have brown hair, I like the brown. Then we also have a sharpener for the pencils. Then we have the eyeshadow shades in Bella, Chloe, Scarlett, Natasha, and Valentina. I was using Natasha and Scarlett. Then here are the highlighting pencils. One side is the white shade, and then one side is the champagne shimmery shade. Just depends on your preference. You can also use that shimmery pencil in the inner corners of your eyes. And then on the top was the brow pencils, which um, I really prefer the powder method. And then here are some stencils for your eyebrows, just in case you're not too sure um, how you want your eyebrows to put be. Then they've got the scissors, and of course, the tweezers. And one of the pieces that was not in the kit was this Precision Flat Brush. This is the P80. I really, really love it for concealer or any bases. And the links will be in the description box below. Also, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate your support. Bye!